Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in a different setup than I usually am and because I was about to sit down and do my makeup and I'm just like, why don't I just film a really chill get ready with me because I am getting all ready because I'm going out later and usually I am sitting on my couch doing my makeup, doing this full in-depth tutorial and honestly, I haven't put out a video in like a month and February is right around the corner and I just want my videos to start being a little bit more relaxed and chill and not so like scripted and professional, not, not professional, you know what I mean? Like I just want to just talk to you guys like a normal person and I'm going to try to loosen up a little bit and be more myself because I feel like I sit in front of the camera and I kind of have to have this like, hi guys, like, you know what I mean. But today, I'm just gonna get ready with you, hair, makeup, outfit. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and like and subscribe to my channel, all of that good stuff. So, let's just get started on this get ready. So, I went blonde. <laughs> um, I know my, literally my last video, it was me dyeing my hair red. I My hair journey has been so up and down the past, like, five years of my life and my hair isn't even done I went and got it like halfway done yesterday because she put in a full head of like foils and she has to go and do it again with all the pieces she like skipped so she did highlights so she did like every other thin piece of hair like on my whole head and made that part like blonde but you can tell I still have like pieces of red in it like zigzagged through so when I go back this upcoming week, she's going to do all those pieces, and then next week I will be fully blonde and fully whatever, and then I'm going to be blonde for a little bit, so there's going to be no more like hair dyeing videos or talking about my hair because I've just been so sick of like worrying about it because dyeing it is just such a process. So after this, I'm just going to let it go for a little bit and be like really chill and relaxed and not have to worry about it. Moving on to makeup, I did get a couple of new things. Um, I'm not gonna talk a lot during this video. I'm gonna just kind of show you it and then do a little bit of like a fast forward type of situation. But I did finally get my hands on the ColourPop concealer. I got my hands on this e.l.f. Dewy Set in Mist and I used it yesterday and I really like it. So I'll be able to show you guys that. And I also got this new Morphe foundation brush. This is the Morphe M349. It's just a little buffer brush and it feels really good. The hair is like synthetic, so it's really soft. I think that's all as far as like the new makeup I've gotten. I have been doing my face like hella glowy, hella like dewy and just pretty and natural and not trying to apply as much like foundation and concealer. I focus on a lot of bronzer and a lot of highlight. So it's just gonna be a super, chill makeup look today. I'm gonna do something kind of smoky and sultry to just kind of make it look like I did a lot when in reality I didn't. So let's just jump right into the makeup. I'm using this Smashbox primer. It's like a little sample size of their photo finish. It's like their original one and I want the full size so bad because this seriously just makes your makeup look so smooth and just glide right on and I've been really into it and the full size is like $40 so when I run out of it when I run out of this sample size I'm gonna be so sad but on to foundation I have been obsessed with mixing these two because the shades I have one's too light one's too dark put them together the color is perfect and the formula is so pretty so I have the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation the longest foundation name I think I've ever owned, and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This one's a little bit light and this one's a little bit dark. I mix them together and they just, it's a match made in heaven. So I'm gonna apply that with the new, well, new for me, Morphe brush.
Okay, wow, this brush is amazing. It just made my makeup look so beautiful. And it didn't take away any of the coverage. I will say that about the Y6 is sometimes I apply my makeup and I feel like it can soak up a lot of the product or just not like distribute the product the way I want to. So I can't use this with every foundation I use, but this brush, I feel like I'm gonna be able to use it with every foundation because the fibers are like whatever this hair is, it just blends out the makeup beautifully and it doesn't seem to soak up any of the product. I think the Y6 soaks up product because this is like softer hairs and this feels more like synthetic. So maybe that has to like do with it, I don't know. But I really am into this brush and if you are looking for a foundation brush, Morphe M439, it's really nice. For concealer, I finally got my hands on the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I have been wanting to try this so badly and I just never did because ordering online, I have such a love hate for it because it's such a pain but like everything good is like online like a lot of stuff you can't find in stores and these are not in stores like anywhere so I was like I have to order them online and they finally came to like Ulta.com so I made an Ulta purchase last week and I ordered them on Ulta. I'm gonna kind of do a little mixture of light 10 and medium 26 and yeah this is gonna be a first impressions of it and I'm really excited. Wow. Guys, I've never thought I was ever going to say this, but I think I like this way better than Shape Tape. Take that in for a second. I like this better than Shape Tape. Right off the bat, right when I applied it, I really like this whole like flat paddle situation. It's like just nice. And I know Shape Tape is like awesome because it has that really fat applicator but if anything I feel like this little flat paddle thing because it has so much product right there and you just go like this it applied like more product than that big like doe fit applicator does on shape tape if that makes sense but right away I have a really good feeling that this is gonna replace my shape tape and this is six dollars compared to twenty seven dollars or twenty nine so lately I haven't been set in my face right away I've been letting my concealer get creasy, if that makes sense, and then I blend it out because now it won't crease again. And I've been setting my face kind of differently. So I still take my beloved Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I take that and I take a little bit on a beauty sponge, what I just used for my concealer, and I put that under my eyes, just like right under my eyes though. And then I go in with this brush. It's a Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. And I just sweep that right away. And whatever like left over, I put, I like use that to set my face. So if you really think about it, I'm really lightly set in with that powder. I do go in with another powder. But as far as that one, this is what I like to do lately. So now here's where I've been doing stuff kind of differently. I take the Laura Mercier uh, Glow like translucent one that they just came out with. And I take that, I put it in the back of the bin. I kind of like shake it and then I dump most of it out. So there's such little product in the lid right now. And I take this giant fan brush. It's by Crown Brushes. It's their Jumbo It's their Jumbo Kabuki fan brush. And I will just like dust my brush in here. And you see it all flying up. And then I tap the excess off. And this is perfect for what I like to do with it. I just go like this. 
and I do it again for the other side. And then sometimes I feel like if I need more product, I'll just pick it up. But the key is to like get rid of all that excess so that it just lightly dusts your face. So like I said, I've been really into having my face be really glowy and dewy. And I've been so into that look. And what this powder is, the way I describe it to like people who, if I talk about it, it's like a really, really sheer loose highlighter because it is like putting a highlighter on your face. You can't use that to like bake or like set your under eyes with. But when I do this like that, it lightly sets my makeup because I'm really not into the whole full pack on powder look. That just will give me a nice light layer of setting and also give me like a dewy glowy look to my skin and I've been really into doing that. This is a step I usually do my eyebrows. Um, I'm just using the Anastasia dip brow powder in soft brown so I'm just gonna go fill them in real quick. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup not talking, just a quick run through for you guys because I pretty much talked about all my new stuff, all my new techniques. So the rest of the makeup, I'll just show on the screen so you know what I'm using and just, yeah, I'm gonna finish up my makeup.
it's like over an hour later and I'm about to leave in two minutes it is 4 58 and I literally have to walk out the door at five o'clock but I just wanted to come on here and do the end of this video I was supposed to show you guys me getting dressed but I didn't I'm just wearing a black hoodie I'm wearing this black you can't even tell it's like this black oversized big hoodie I literally wear it every chance that I get as far as the rest of my clothing, my jeans are in my mom's car and she's picking me up so I have to wait to like put my pants on until she's here. And then for shoes, I'm just gonna wear my black Uggs because I'm such a fashionista. As far as accessory goes, I'm wearing this little crescent moon necklace. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. It's like a choker. I'm wearing my normal rings. This is my ring from my boyfriend and this is just my third eye ring that I love to wear. And then I'm wearing this green marble like bead and star bracelet. It's like a shoot and star make a wish bracelet that I like to wear from time to time. And then earrings, I'm I'm not even gonna bother with earrings. And for perfume, I'm actually gonna put it on right now. This is the Flower Bomb Nectar by Victor and Rolf. So good. This is like my signature perfume. And I am fully ready to go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this more laid back, casual video. And let me know what you guys think if you like this more than my normal videos, because I feel like I did. So I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my social media down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.